It's that time of year again. Spring is in the air, but so are some fungal spores that can cause some problems on our landscape plants. Today I'm going to talk about three rust diseases that are very much related. These three are cedar apple rust, cedar hawthorn rust, and cedar quince rust. You're probably most familiar with the cedar apple rust. It produces rather large sort of golf ball uh, sized galls on cedar trees in the spring of the year. These galls will form um, the ra rather large sort of telial horns that come out from the galls after a rain. So when we have cool wet weather in the spring is when the spores are produced. And these spores require two different hosts to complete their life cycle. So they produce these galls on the cedars and then they also produce lesions on apples and crab apples later in the year. But these infections are occurring in the spring. So a lot of times we will get a question when we see symptoms on the apples and crab apples of rust disease, what can I do about this? And when you see the symptoms in late spring, early summer, it's really too late. The time to be spraying a fungicide is actually in the spring of the year when those spores are being produced. Now we have two other rust diseases that are also can occur, and you might not be as, as familiar with these. Cedar hawthorn rust also occurs on cedars or junipers, and it produces smaller galls, a little net less noticeable. You have to get into the cedar and really look for them. They're quite a bit smaller, but they also produce these telial horns, a little bit shorter ones, but the spore production is also in the spring of the year. These spores will go to um, apples and crab apples as well, and also hawthorn, as the name suggests, with the cedar hawthorn rust. A third type of rust that we see on the junipers of the cedars is the cedar quince rust. This one is not nearly as showy on the junipers. It's going to be a gall that forms along the twig and you have this orange coloration from the rust production right along the twig. So you need to look, kind of move some of those, those, uh, those twigs around and get in the, inside the juniper to see the production of these, these spores. They, they again are going to be producing in the spring of the year and then those rust spores are traveling on the air currents. They're being wind blown to the other hosts um, in the rose family, including hawthorns. And then when you see later in the summer, hawthorn berries that are very much covered with rust, sort of these um, tube-like structures coming out that are producing these orange spores in abundance, that's gonna be cedar quince rust occurring on the hawthorn. And again, the time of year to control that is, is right now. So what are we gonna do about these three different diseases? Well, we've got some different management options. Sometimes people talk about removal of junipers or cedars from the landscape, and this really isn't all that practical. First of all, these spores can travel for quite a, quite a distance, several hundred yards to even several miles has been reported, so it's really not practical to be removing junipers or cedars from the landscape. It's also not all that practical to be spraying the junipers or the cedars to reduce the, the spore production on that host. Mostly we're going to be looking at fungicide applications on the crab apples and the apples and the hawthorns and the other plants in the rose family that are susceptible. And when you see these spores being produced on the junipers and the cedars during cool moist weather in the spring is the time when you want to be spraying those products on the other plants to protect them. So in summary, today I talked about three different rust diseases that can affect your cedars and junipers. These are cedar apple rust, cedar hawthorn rust, and cedar quince rust. The main thing I want you to remember is that these are all active in the spring of the year during cool, wet weather. That's when they're going to be releasing the spores that are causing infections on the apples, the crab apples, and the hawthorns, and other plants in the rose family, even though we don't see signs of these infections until a little bit later in the summer. When we do see the rust occurring on these hosts, it's too late to do anything about it. So the time to be controlling it is now. We want to make sure we're doing something about it from about early to to mid-April through about mid-May to late May, just depending on, on when those spores are being produced on the junipers, and that's when you, be, when you want to be out there looking for these structures, the, the galls from all of these different rust diseases.